Colorado today. <laughs> you guys have any luck? We haven't heard any gobbles, man. Well, so I was out here Tuesday, and Tuesday morning, found a bird down the river. It's hammering. I guess he didn't have any hens. He gobbled till like 8:30, and I had to go to work. And then uh, got out here Friday night. Set up. We're camping down there. We set up camp. Roosted the bird. He's still gobbling. And then uh, went in there Saturday. He never made a sound. I don't know. The weather's. Not Yesterday, that bird I killed didn't gobble till 8:30 in the morning. Really? Yeah. It just doesn't have a gobble feel to it. I mean, you can, there's warb right there. Quit filming us, sir. We yep. got this you road being effectively blocked. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we've been watching y'all show. We've been watching since y'all are on Spring Thunder, Midwest Whitetail, man. Thanks. Oh, thank you. Sweet. Y'all have any luck? Uh, no. We've been around turkeys, but we're not talking, man. Nope. Same here. How long y'all here for? Probably What's just a couple days. What's it looking like? Looks like it's gonna get wet. Yeah, we had really good weather the last two weeks. No. Yeah, I got yeah, here day before good. season and went out listening. It was pretty, man. They were gobbling their brains I out. Story, I was like, man, that looked really similar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice to meet y'all. Yeah, nice good luck, guys. Too. Good luck. Good See luck, fellas. Yeah. We went right up the road here on the river. This hen tracks is all we found. We saw so many, I mean, so many sets of fresh gobbler tracks already this morning, mm -hmm. just going up and down those two tracks. When we were down. Especially in the areas that aren't burnt. Yeah. Like when that, in that burn when we killed your bird, I think that's why we didn't find as many tracks because they're out in that burn. We're yeah. thinking about getting a canoe if we're staying here for a little bit because that river bottom stuff is real pretty, like a, oh, yeah. where the gr grass is real short down there. Yeah. It's just All like meadows, mud, mud patchy, flats. And like little grass down there. Little islands they can get out on. I'm sure they jump across it all the time, but there's, you can't really oh, hear it that take, well you down can there. You take a boat down that river and hear turkeys gobbling for sure. And we, I got a fishing license, so. Oh, there you go. <laughs> That'd be pretty dope. Yeah, some Florida screen bass. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I caught my biggest largemouth and like this is a sweet on accident. Place to that guy, remember more about told trip, me told, fish down here. Yeah, he's like 29 miles from here. Yeah. That guy's play. Listening for the spitting. Listening for the drumming. Listening for the screeching. Heard the clucking. We thought we heard a head. Well, you guys get out of our hair, all right? Get out of our spot. Of <laughs> we got a lot. Have that day about the. Phantom gobble you heard in South Florida. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, real gobble. It was a real gobble, Greg. I'm telling you. Was it? Yeah, it was the last day in one gobble. And I'm like, I knew it was a gobble. And I'm like, waving Jake up. And then we never heard it again. Video. Huh? It's a nice thing about having footage of it. Yeah, you can hear it in it. Yeah. Hopefully yeah. that's the case for you. But I doubt it, seriously. I know, yeah. <laughs> Spelling. Sorry, Travis. Hey, what's up? Nothing, man. Uh, I was just gonna ask you about this river that we're we're thinking about jumping on. See if you've ever fished it. I'm sure you probably have. What's it? What's it called? Oh, the yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. That. I. Ooh. That's a good call. If there was anywhere to go, like try to get on the water and hunt, it would be. The yeah, that's, that's wild there's, there. There's uh, public land, like, there's, there's a lot of public land that is on really both sides of the river as you keep going further south, but, like, I think that we could get into some pretty good stuff and, like, just get away from, get away from people. Everybody's pulling in up top, but if we could just float down the river and just hear a turkey gobble, get out and hunt them, that'd be yeah. probably ideal. Just so funny, it's only, it's only 40 minutes from where we're at is where Robert is, so, like, I was just thinking yeah. maybe we could go grab a canoe from him. I'm sure he would be more than happy to help you out. Yeah, I, I'd imagine. For, for what you're wanting to do, I, I think I think that would be one of the one of the rivers to do it on. Yeah, there's definitely turkeys down there. We walked down a long little easy access, easy driving access spot today, and there's tracks. So like they're there. It's just a matter of actually being able to cover enough ground because it's like it's kind of hard to walk through this without just. You know, there's all kinds of weird sloughs and stuff back in there. So it's like if you could just canoe in and then just use the boat to get to places, I think you could get to turkeys. And, and yeah. in the meantime, it'd be pretty fun to just like float down a river and make some casts. Jake's got a pole, so. Hey, hey, yeah. That sounds like fun. Yeah. Well, good luck fishing. Have a good time and uh, talk soon.
Yeah, I'll see you, Zach. See ya. Bye. Sounds like it's gonna be worth it. That's my buddy from college who we actually used to come down here uh, fishing for spring break. He actually moved down here for two years, maybe? He lived down in this area and Travis is just like a wild man of fishing. He just does what we do, but with fishing. Just uh -huh. travels the entire country fishing for river bass, so. He knows, he knows the rivers and he's, <laughs> he's actually been on fished, it. <laughs> he's fished it. We're, That's funny. You know, states away from where. We're like, trying to see yeah. if it's worth it for us to go get a canoe and try to fish and yeah. hunt at the same time. Yeah. Seems like it might be, so. And actually, Robert, who uh, was the guy that we used to rent kayaks from when we come down here, his, his shop's like 40 minutes from where we've been hunting, so we're gonna run down here and try to talk to him, see if we can get a canoe. Up Might be a fun way to hunt. Upload a video and hopefully at least catch some fish if the turkeys aren't gobbling. That's right. It's just like not that ideal of a day for turkeys gobbling, but it can maybe get us into some cool, cool spots and maybe see some cool stuff. Mm -hmm. It's hunting fish. we can do with them right here. I don't think we can do anything with them. We might have to move over to where we were yesterday. I just don't think, why, why the hell would they fly over? No, I think they're probably going to stay right there. Maybe we're just going to look for I think you could, I think you call one in here later, not here, but 
They can call one across the river. There's no doubt in my mind. I just don't know that we're going to do it right at this point in the morning. Maybe we're just going up there and trying to find a different one for right now. Just go right through here on the way out anyways. Yeah. I, think, I think it's better to work down or like up than come back down. So that bird that we heard last night, he's got one pretty good. He's got several hens. It sounds like across the river though. There might be another tom that's further in, but we can't do much with them. We just got this little strip that we thought they might pitch over to, but now getting in here, it's just pretty much surrounded by water. There's not much reason for him to come over here. He'd have to be pretty lonely, I feel like, for him to come over here, but I figured we'd give it a try, but I think now we're going to just paddle up river. There's a bunch more public on the right side up there. Hopefully we can run into another goblin turkey. If not, we'll go right through here on the way out. So maybe by then they'll be in a better position for us or he'll have lost his hens, but I don't know how useful this is going to be with our time trying to call him this little strip. What do you mind to fish in the turkey? The fish in until the turkey start to gobble. <laughs> probably already are but it was cool this morning even though that we were never really in the game they were going pretty crazy there for a while you think there's more up here oh yeah i think yeah, we're key in on that. i think we're about to get out of the boat and definitely get into some pretty good turkey sound at some point it's a little warmer than it has been yeah. it's still overcast and at least the wind died we yeah here a lot get up in there see what happens oh, you're drumming do you The river. She might be on the river to our side. I don't Sweet. How does it work? You just charge it up from what? It's like there's a little, you charge this up, this with a wall outlet. It's just like charging a car battery, just mini clamps or whatever you put on those and it charges it up. No kidding. How long does it last? I don't know. I haven't had to recharge it yet. <laughs> the whole season? No. Do you use it every night? Yeah, and I use it during sturgeon spearing, like in the cold ice. They're supposed to be really good. I don't know. But they just sent them. <laughs> So, yeah, so that's it for whatever night this is in Florida. This is probably two weeks. Yeah, <laughs> in Florida and, yeah, overall. Uh -huh. third, only third night in North Florida? Yeah. yeah, third night here. I think we're heading out in the morning. The, the rest of the crew headed out this morning, and uh, Zach and I just wanted to 
well, we got this canoe rented for one more day, so we figured we might might as well use it. And we feel like we're in a pretty good spot back there, and we I think we both have confidence that there's a good chance that we hear a turkey gobble on public tomorrow if we get up far enough in there. So that's the hope. We didn't get anything roosted tonight. We weren't able to make it back out in time. We just had some editing and podcasts to post. So we didn't get anything roosted, but we heard a hen right across the river here. We know there's a bunch of turkeys around, so. I saw her, dude, and if, yeah. I would've, if I'd have been filming correctly, <laughs> just had it on me, it was so sweet and just flew right across. I could just river. hear, but yeah, she was on the public side and we found sign on, on the public today. So I know there was turkeys right in there. So that's where we're gonna start in the morning. Got a long paddle upstream though. Yeah, a mile and a half is what I measured, <laughs> like uh, from where we were at today, and I'm assuming that's where we'll go tomorrow morning yeah. too. Maybe a little further even. Yeah, we'll, maybe we'll go further and just float it down. Our challenge was this morning that we were paddling upstream. We got there too late. We were paddling upstream and we can't hear anything with the no noise that the paddles and the boat make just from going into the current. That's pretty good. Not super dangerous, but it's there's, there's definitely a current moving there. You need two guys uh, to make any sort of headway so yeah if the water's just full mm -hmm. the banks are just real mm -hmm. full and I, I was wondering tonight how, how much tide affects it i don't know i can't i, I haven't seem... noticed it a whole bunch it seemed faster maybe this afternoon tonight, though. Yeah. it was hard to get up yeah. there tonight and yesterday or this morning it didn't seem as bad as mm -hmm. tonight and hey maybe we're just out of shape <laughs> <laughs> just sitting around I I the computer <laughs> yeah slouching slouching all day and then paddle, just going for a quick mile paddle <laughs> Upstream. See you in the morning. Very sad that the rest of the honey peanut butter is gone. A little left. Ted will be sad about that. Yeah. If you guys can find that, go ahead and give it a try. Pretty good. <laughs> Ted says it's out of this world. <laughs> a lot of times he said that. <laughs> and that's good enough, is what we say. A little finger scrub. All right, well, it's 6.30. Zach and I are about to head down to the river and start paddling. We got a little better than a mile and a half paddle, I think. Hopefully we can get up there before the first gobble. If not, well, we'll be somewhere probably where we should be able to hear a turkey regardless. We would've been able to hear him right from camp yesterday, so we're just gonna get way up there and uh, let the river take us down just because we can not paddle at all just with as fast as this river's moving and cover a lot of ground and be quiet and be in a good position to just go after him whenever we need to so saw some hogs yesterday too that was cool so seen all kinds of stuff on this river it's been a lot of fun we haven't caught any fish or killed any turkeys yet but it's been pretty sweet I didn't get a turkey today. Me too. I think so. yeah first clear morning since we've been here they were gobbling yesterday so i think it should be good
see something up there. I just can't tell where it is. I didn't hear it that time, I heard it before. This is right here. Yeah, right up there, just past where we can see, I think. Maybe turn your head back away from us and call it her a little bit. Two of them, maybe, huh?
my barrel. Within range. Let me know when you're out because I'm going to swing. Good. Just sitting there looking at me. He saw me and he didn't even relax. I got him going through there at one point, but like they got behind those two trees. I just could not see him. He was just to the, too far to the right. To the right. I, I tried leaning at the end. Yeah. I might have got something, but you got him, didn't you? <laughs> Dude, he just stood there 25 yards. They were strutting and everything. I mean, you could hear him drumming. Whoa. Here, let me put it on you. You're the one that shot. Call the man. That's, that's, that's your weird. gun? Yeah. That's him. You'd be a white turkey. Hey, got him on the canoe, dude. We knew dude. he would. Yeah. So that's worth staying. Oh, sure. heck yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. To hear the drumming was worth it. And that's why. That's the main reason. I shot him too, cause like I, I could have shot him the first time, and then as they were there, I'm just like, last day. I mean, no, you I, I would have shot probably. I know, I know you would. Have. <laughs> did. I know you would. Have. But I was like, dang it, I want to get, I want to get oh, him yeah. as a kid, and yeah. you care more. Yeah. All right, let's should we go get him? Yeah. Dude, you're gonna be soaked. He's in, in the little channel. <laughs> I didn't even know that was there. That's why they. No, that's they why were, they hung up. See him over there? Uh -huh. Going across that lot. <laughs> I wonder, what was that turkey that landed over there? Did it, like, was that that hen probably, I guess? Yeah, that, that when I freaked out, you mean that the hen? I yeah. Like, yeah, I think it was the hen. Yeah, I, I, I saw her land way over there, and she looked like a color, but I, I figured she would bring him back that way. That's why I wanted to get my gun over there. That was cool. You heard, you heard him. We, we could hear him walk through that water there. Yeah, over there. I heard him. I heard him come across water. Uh huh. The sh you go through. Right on the edge of the water. That's where he was. And we were hitting really well, looking at him now. Like he could just, I mean, he couldn't even see any of you, obviously. Do you think he was going to come back? When I shot him, he was perked up and he dropped it like his. When you said go ahead and shoot him, as soon as I saw his head move at all, I was going to pull the trigger whether he was going away, because he was looking at me the whole time. But he basically, I think he just dropped it down like he was going to maybe move forward or left or right. Like, I don't think he was going away. I just wasn't going to fool with it just because we only had this small opening over here. And like, if they want, they can just drift away that way and we can never see him again. So. Oh, that's a heavy turkey, dude. It's like a 30 pounder. 
Dude. <laughs> Triple beard. No. <laughs> That's a wet turkey there, boy. He's a sack. <laughs> Sweet, man. What the heck? Dude, I can't believe, I can't believe he fell into the water. <laughs> what a perfect spot to shoot a turkey, dude. We knew yesterday. Bring uh, him over here. I don't think this is a good idea. <laughs> a little nerve wracking. That was a wet bird. That is a wet bird. Sometimes you say, it's a pretty bird. And sometimes you say, darn it, he got pretty wet. <laughs> and he, when they came up and I saw him go through there the first time, uh -huh. I thought they were hens at first. The first one was pecking, the second one popped strut. Yeah, I saw him pop strut, but I think you could see him with my, just with my left eye. I literally uh -huh. could not see those turkeys at this point. Yeah, we like the turkey hunting first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We liked turkey hunting before we liked to film in them. <laughs> I was thinking about this as they were both sitting there about you and Warb, I think it was Mississippi, mm -hmm. and you had that turkey come in on the last day, and like you didn't get, you didn't have good enough footage, and you were just like, that was dumb, like we're leaving anyway, why not just shoot it? Oh yeah, I, the thing is, is like when you're hunting turkeys the way that we like to hunt turkeys, it just doesn't look like it does in other videos. They're not just gonna come strutting around right in front of you all pretty. It's I'm like, that's the, that's our favorite part about it, I think. It's yeah. just like when it gets chaotic like that and you oh, gotta yeah. make that last move is like my favorite part. That's how hunting looked for me when I was a kid always. It's just mm. like, and that's what's realistic to most hunters out here, I think, is you know doing something adventurous and then getting off and not oh, using, yeah. not carrying the extra weight with the decoys and everything. Just uh -huh. come in here and hunt turkeys. And, uh -huh. We got into a place where, yeah, there are there were some guys over on the, across the river on privates this yeah, morning. Well, unless they got a boat, they can't hunt these turkeys. So. <laughs> anytime you call, I mean, they weren't just hammering, hammering all by themselves no. a bunch, but anytime we called, they just slowly worked their way to us. What time is it? Uh, it took about an hour. Time Maybe a little less. Time to go back down the river and get one of them other four that were gobbling this morning. Man, they're kidding, dude. That was wild. I was like, dang it. I was like, Maybe we shouldn't have went all the way up here. Yeah. But yeah. I think they're probably on the well, it depends. At least, at least well, 8.20. It'll dry out in that canoe pretty fast. We yeah. should just uh, sit here, relax for a minute, and... Let them calm back down and get back after them. The nice thing is we get to float out. Oh, <laughs> we yeah. ripped up this thing this morning. Oh, dude, that was... I was, like, feeling it in my arms. Oh, yeah. They say you're not supposed to feel it in your arms if you're paddling correctly. I feel it in my, like, my shoulder blades. And you're wearing your vest. Yeah, that's about to find down. off. I just... Let it go around my waist. I had her sitting like this, but yeah, that's a lot of weight on your shoulders. Old Shane Simpson's hunting down here. Is he down here right now? Yeah, he said we st he stopped by our camp last night. We weren't there, so we, we switched it up. We're on the river now. So the whole thing about this spot that I think is the most interesting is, is it's pretty landlocked. Like, it's landlocked from the roadside and then the riverside. You know, the river is obviously a pretty powerful stream. Ted and I came in here. The very yeah, I mean, if somebody morning. had like a boat, it wouldn't be a big deal, but I, we haven't seen anybody with a boat, so no. I don't know where the closest landings are and whatnot. A couple miles, up to four or five miles. Yeah. Unless you come from private. And there, in this peninsula here stretches for a mile, over a mile and a half. Mm -hmm. So like we're, we're more than a mile deep from the closest access. And like Zach said, you really got to do some plowing and go through some wet, thick stuff. A lot of these here. sloughs block it off too. So it's yeah. like, not only is it landlocked, not only is it thick, there's also a lot of water. And when Ted and I were in here, you know, we just kept thinking, man, I forgot to get back in here. There's going to be turkeys that are unpressured because Greg, the day before season, was down at a more accessible spot mm -hmm. in the river. It's all, all kind of the same river, mm -hmm. but very accessible. Yeah. Opening morning, Ted and I drove, drove down there to hunt, and there was people all over the place. They so said like 10 guys came in on you. Yeah, so it's like, we know... We know that if we can get to a different part of this river, there's going to be turkeys yeah. there because Greg saw a sign along the river. Sure enough, when we came in here yesterday, we saw the sign. We didn't hear any gobbles back here, but we heard that hen. We saw tracks. The thing is, if you can think of a spot like this, man, sometimes it's like, mm -hmm. I remember last night, it's like, we got one. Yeah. I mean, that's what we told those guys, and that's why we're not in Alabama right now. Like, <laughs> I think we can get one if we go back in here. Uh -huh. so, public land turkey hunting. Here's something that... At the end of the day, 
what I always go with is if I think I can just work harder than somebody else and do something completely different than everybody else with turkeys, it generally gets you in gobbling turkeys. And that's what we did today. Especially if you find habitat like this. I think we can both agree that we got in here yesterday. And even though, like you said, we didn't hear any gobbling. We, and we, we really didn't find a ton of sign. But it's just like, just enough to they're in here and they're not getting messed with. Good job, dude. Good shot. Because I'd have never, I'd have never passed all those dang things. But well, thanks for calling them in. Let oh, me yeah. use your gun. Oh, man. Yeah. Driving down here. <laughs> got some on me. Yeah, you, got, you got a little goose egg starting on your cheek. I'm all 20. Uh -huh. Yeah, I was sitting there as they're coming in. It's like I, I've shot the gun before, but not a lot. It's just like, how do I get all the way down on this thing? Dude, and the only way to do it is just to put the butt right here. Yeah, you gotta like put it underneath your cheekbone. Uh huh. And it, way, it just waylays you. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just an old bag. The sand gun. <laughs> sand and rust. But it's charged. Me. He was standing right there over that stone, right on the oh, edge of the water, okay. oh, in the wide open. I see. That's why I was just like, ah, I don't know how, what he's seeing over there. I mean, I was sitting pretty low and we had pretty good cover. We but, moved a lot. Though. Yeah, and I had to swing the gun again, yeah. like to the left. Because you had moved it back. I brought it up to his head, expecting him to just shoot right away, and then I was just like, well, he's just still sitting there. Zach, you can try to get over here. <laughs> and then I was just like, had tension on the trigger, waiting for him to pop his head up or do anything and just shoot right away. Try your best, but it wasn't good enough this time. <laughs> uh, hopefully y'all like the cool footage of Jake Cast and they're not catching anything. It's going to be the highlight. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully you guys like the footage of the pattern smoke in the street right here. Good one. You shot the non strutter, didn't you? I don't know if I did. I hope so, but. I think that's a movement. <laughs> Get the non strutter. I mean, every chance we get. I just shot the turkey, I can see the other side. Oh, wow, that's what you shot. <laughs> I don't know, Zach, he's strutting. I think I'm gonna wait. <laughs> did you think we were gonna load one out? What was your expectation? Let's get one. If we, if we heard one gobble in public, I was pretty confident that we were gonna have a pretty good hunt. Just because I figured they hadn't been messed with and the weather was nice. And I think we were both pretty confident that we were going to hear one in public. No. Otherwise, it's kind of hard to wake up early in the morning and paddle an hour and a half up the river. <laughs> it's good to start your day with a little adversity, though. Everything just keeps going up from there. From there, we've sent a shot of turkey, drank some coffee, ate a little snack by the river, and maybe we're going to go uh, catch a fish, hopefully, and kill another turkey. Maybe. I'm surprised we haven't caught a fish. Weather's nicer today, though. Warm front. How was it? That's the most comfortable one I've ever done. I think it's just over 300 yards. Yeah, I don't like carrying it. It kind of hurts my, my arms holding them like that. I'd rather actually do that. Look at all those little things. See them? Mm-hmm. That's freaky. Hold on. I'm not getting it on. I'm not getting it on pretty jet. Yeah, that's nasty. Make it on you. So is that like the mother and then they're hatching little seed ticks or is it, how does that work? I don't know. It's just weird that they're all in a little group like that, you know? Mm -hmm. Somebody tell us about ticks. I can tell you, don't get Lyme. Yeah. Use permethrin. Yeah, I just re-upped yesterday. I had one in my leg last night. But they say if they're not in there for 24 hours, you're good. So hopefully. But Zach and I were talking about it last night. It's just like, if you're, if you're doing this style, 
it's not a bad idea to just undress because <laughs> like he, he he said that his problem is he just never takes his clothes off so like there could be something under there and that's when I found that one last night was when I was getting down into my skivvies so let's keep that in mind out there you don't want to get the line hey if you gotta do nudist a little bit every <laughs> once in a while it ain't in your mm -hmm. ain't a bad idea yeah, there's, that's crazy right his pits wing bone they're right in this cat man <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, just getting back to camp here. Gonna clean this bird up. And I think just pack up and head to meet him in, where are we going, Georgia or Alabama? Alabama. Alabama. <laughs> Wasn't sure what we decided on. So. I don't think it, we got that far of a drive. They should have hunted this morning, I think, so. Haven't had really any service to let them know that we got one or heard how things are going over there, but that's gonna be it for Florida this year. That was pretty fun, though. It was fun to break it up and come to a new area, but still a lot different than area, other areas that we've hunted. But that's what's fun about the turkey tours. We get to cover a bunch of ground in a short amount of time. So on to Alabama next, yep. and then Georgia. So see you on the next one. Let's hunt, let's hunt to Alabama we go.